Uh, right after the lottery, while I was at the NBA Draft Combine, I was told that the Orlando Magic built Paolo Bancaro was the safe pick for them. However, I didn't take it too seriously and didn't read into it much. Uh, well, in hindsight, that was a mistake. Uh, I would have taken Jabari Smith, but I can't argue the Magic selecting Bancaro. Uh, the fact is that the Magic had multiple good options with the number one pick. Uh, they chose to go with Apollo, and, and I respect it. He's a big-time prospect, and he will likely be a primary scorer for them. Hats off to Jeff Waldman and John Hammond. Uh, they didn't show their cards and, and didn't care what everyone else thought they should do. Uh, well done. Paulo Bancaro is big, strong, explosive, and skilled. Th there's a lot to like about him. I think he's a good fit with the Magic. Uh, I also believe he will be an outstanding and perhaps an all-star level player. Uh, I'm happy for the Magic and Paolo. Uh, I don't know Paolo personally, but I've watched him play many times over the last several years. Uh, make me feel like I do know him. Uh, so I'm, I'm certainly you know rooting for him. I had Jabari Smith as the number one rated prospect in the 2022 NBA draft since November. Uh, Houston is getting him at number three. Uh, and it's just such a great pick, in my opinion. I, I do not know Raphael Stone personally, but I'm impressed. Uh, he killed it on draft night. Jabari at number three, uh, Tari Eason at number 17, and Ty Ty Washington at number 29. Honestly, I, I don't know if the Rockets could have done any better. I've had Jabari Smith number one since November, but my favorite prospect this past season might have been Purdue's Jaden Ivey. Uh, he's athletic and dynamic and might have more upside than anyone else in the 2022 NBA draft. Uh, so the fact that the Pistons were able to get him at number five uh, feels like a crime. Uh, and then, you know, for them to be able to get uh, Jalen Durant at number 12, who's a young big with, with a boatload of talent upside too, uh, it was just an excellent draft for them. The, the Pistons fan base uh, should be very excited. Uh, I was surprised that Memphis gave up so much to move up to number 19 to select uh, Jake LaRavia. Uh, I'm certainly a fan of Jake's and his agent for that matter, Ann Riley. Uh, he's a really good guy. However, uh, giving up multiple draft picks did feel like a lot to me. Uh, I was also surprised by the Knicks draft. Uh, I understand and appreciate the value of financial flexibility and draft assets. Uh, however, I, I expected them to add a player through the draft, uh, whether using their pick or uh, moving up in the draft via trade. Uh, time will tell if Leon Rose's move was a smart one or not. Regardless, uh, the pressure is on these future draft picks. This past year didn't unfold like I'm, I'm sure Jaden Hardy had hoped it would. Uh, but I think going to Dallas is an excellent opportunity for him. Uh, I think he has a chance to become an outstanding player in the NBA if he continues to develop. Uh, he has a natural score with great range and explosiveness. Uh, so let's just give him some time. I was surprised Ty Ty Washington fell to number 29. Uh, I understand the league is going towards a more positionless game. Uh, however, I believe Ty Ty is the real deal. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he made many teams regret not selecting him. Uh, I'm also surprised Kendall Brown fell so far. Uh, there's some legitimate concerns with his lack of offensive creation abilities, uh, but his motor and athleticism are, are legit. I think Kennedy Chandler will carve out a role with the Memphis Grizzlies as, as John Moran's backup point guard. Uh, also, I'm interested to see if they try to play Kennedy and Ja together. Uh, if so, that will be quite the speedy duo uh, and potentially a nightmare to contain. I'm going to pick two, Ty Ty Washington and Max Christie. Uh, I think Ty Ty has a better opportunity of making an impact right away and proving me right quicker uh, however, I believe that Max Christie can be become a, a good NBA player with a with a couple years. I was hoping the Knicks moved up to get Jaden Ivey, as rumored. Uh, that that kid seems to be built for the bright lights, but uh, luckily for the Pistons, they got him at number five. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to watching how he develops there. I, I think he's going to become uh, an exciting player to watch. John Montero, uh, he surprisingly won undrafted and then signed an Exhibit 10 with the Knicks. Uh, he's a talented player and was once a highly touted prospect. I still think he has a shot. Uh, there's the same, gone fishing. Well, I'm going on vacation with my family and doing some fly fishing. 
but not only do I have a head start on the 2023 NBA draft, but also the 2024 and 2025 draft. So don't you worry. I'm on it. See you soon.